Butter CMS's components enable you to compose flexible page layouts and easily reorder them instantly without IT. So as a marketer, Butter will give you freedom and flexibility that you need to compose compelling content experiences. And the best part is that developers get to use any tech stack that they like. So they don't need to learn some new bloated CMS system. Butter delivers content via our content API straight into your existing tech stack. Our content API serves billions of requests and will be your developer's secret weapon when creating new CMS powered apps. Butter CMS components allow your team to define a library of reusable components that you can use to create limitless kinds of experiences throughout your website or applications. So let's take a look at how we would set up uh, and create a new landing page like this in Butter. Uh, we're big fans of Notion, so we're gonna use them, uh, their homepage as an example today. And it's beautifully designed, so it's gonna be a great, uh, a great example of how quickly and easily you can achieve this with Butter components. So for the sake of this, we're gonna pretend like we have a brand new empty landing page that we want to create in Butter and populate. So to do that, you would simply go into the Butter dashboard and configure the components that you'd like to add uh, to the page. So what you see here is our page builder. And uh, to start composing this page, what we'll do is choose that we'd like to add a component. Along the left-hand side here, these are all the different field types that we support for adding a page. These are sort of like the building blocks for a page. So you can mix and match them in any combination that you like. For this video, we're gonna be focusing on our component field types, which are probably the most powerful field type that we have. So we want to ensure that we have great SEO and social sharing built in. A great place to start when creating a new uh, landing page, especially if it's focused on marketing, will be to add a uh, an SEO component to it. So in this case, we uh, had an SEO component already saved to our component library, which is another nice feature, it allows you to quickly reuse and, and save different components that you've created. Uh, and the SEO component, as you can see here, is composed of, I'll pop this open, you can see it's composed of, uh, in this case, just four fields, but you can make this totally customized to what you need. But here you can control the SEO title, the meta description, the open graph title of the page, the open graph image. So the open graph are the meta tags that control what appears when this page gets shared to social media, like Twitter and Facebook, for example. So we've got our SEO component, so that'll allow our marketer to have full control over those important aspects of this page. And now we're gonna configure a component picker, which will define basically the set of components that uh, your marketers can choose from when composing a landing page. Uh, so we'll give this component picker a name, we'll call it sections, basically sections of a page. And for the first component, we're going to uh, focus on this hero section here. So the hero is kind of like the top of the page, and so we'll configure a component to power this part of the page here. So to do that, we'll create a new component and we'll give it a name of hero and we'll give it a description so that our marketers have a sense of what it's all about. And we'll give it some fields as well. I'll go ahead and fill these out. So we've got a headline field, a, a subheadline, and a call to action subtext. Uh, so that will power this field here, this field here, and this field here. You could also add the button text, for example, the email placeholder. You can totally customize this to be as granular as you need. So, okay, this looks good. The hero component is configured, we'll click done. And we'll probably wanna use this on other pages in the future, so we'll save this to our library as well. So now that we've got a couple components uh, figured in our, in our picker figure uh, configured, we're gonna go ahead and let's take a look at the content editing UI where we can put these into practice. So we'll call this home, uh, home landing page. So the, again, the previous page was the configuration side of it, uh, which um, you, you set up. And then this is the content UI side. So this is where you can actually go in here and manage the, the content values for the page. So let's fill out the uh, SEO information here and we will uh, put the logo in. So it looks good there. Okay, great. So we've got the SEO all in place. Now let's go ahead and actually start adding some content to the body of the page. So here, um, so far we've only configured one component, so let's go ahead and add that. It's our hero component. Let's fill in the values here. Right plan. And four teams and individuals. Okay, great. So we've got the beginnings of the page. Let's go ahead and publish that and see how the page is looking. Okay, awesome. So we've got our hero component in place. The rest of the page is blank, but let's go ahead and fill that in now. So back in the Butter Editor, we only have one component type, so can't really create a super compelling page. We could have a bunch of hero sections, but uh, let's go ahead and give some more, some more meat to our component palette here. So let's go back into the configuration, and we're gonna add some more component types to our sections so that, again, our marketer has more components to choose from when composing 
a, a dynamic landing page. So this is where our library comes into place. It's really handy. So we've gone ahead and configured, uh, pre-configured some other components. We've got a call out with an image. We've got a call out with just plain text. We've got, uh, and then we've got a, a use case component. Now we've got a more robust set of components available for our marketer to use. So let's go ahead and save this and go back to the page editor and fill out the rest of the page. So just as a refresher, this is what we're looking to achieve. So we've got, um, this is the call out with an image. This is a call out with text. And this will be a use case component here. We've got uh, a couple of them that we're gonna configure. So this is what we're working towards to achieve. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add a call out with an image and the text for that, the headline for that was too many tools, too much chaos. And we've got an image that nicely reflects that. So let's drag and drop that right on there. We've got another uh, component called call out with text. So we'll paste these values in there. Okay, great. Let's take a look at how our page is shaping up. We'll publish this. Right, we've got our hero component and now we've got these two components. Great, cool, so the page is coming together. Now let's go ahead and start adding some of those uh, beautiful use cases to it as well. So back in the butter editor here, we'll add another section of the page called the use case. Paste in some values there, we'll get some of these icons. So we have this persona icon there. Um, it replaces these tools. And here is a awesome animated screenshot to show this, this use case off. Okay, great. And let's go ahead and add just one more use case. So we've got the persona icon there. This is these tools. And here is the screenshot. Okay, awesome. So you can see how just simple and fast it really is to compose a beautiful looking uh, landing page. So let's go ahead and save that and take a look. And now we can see that we have our, our use cases coming together. It's awesome. So now if we go back into Butter, and let's say that we wanted to reorder a couple of the sections of the page. So maybe we wanted to um, divide the use cases with a, or separate the use cases with a callout text. So we could move these use case here and just drag it up there. Now the callout text will appear between the use cases. So reordering entire sections of the page is as simple as dragging and dropping, which is pretty, pretty awesome. And again, Butter is available in dozens of technology languages and frameworks. So developers will uh, love to integrate with, with our content API, which has served billions of requests. So Butter CMS comes with a 30 day free trial. So give us a try today.